And now, my dear friends, I'm going to offer you something a little bit more advanced, but if you have been doing my previous little exercises, you may be able to do this one. So before you do it, remember, we are lifting the toes, putting them down. You can spread them and put them down. We are lifting the heels, putting them down. That engages our inner legs. Then we engage in our abdomen. Then we put our shoulders back and down. We lengthen through our fingertips and then we roll the hands so they are facing a keyboard. And we make sure that our chin is not protruding forward. So this is our uh, initial position. And this uh, uh, kind of little uh, routine I advise to do all the pianists. And it was published in my piano yoga book. And this is how I think we can find our ideal sitting position, uh, whether you, we sit higher or lower. These are the main principle. Grounding, abdominals, shoulders, and release neck. So here is the new little routine for you. So once you established your uh, grounding and your position, take a breath, look up, hands touching, Breathe out. Breathe out through the nose if you can. Obviously, if your nose is blocked, you don't have a choice, you breathe out through the mouth. Again, breathe in again, and then breathe out. And when you breathe out, you look straight, or you can look down if you want. And then again, breathe in. And this time, I want you to interlock your hands. And again, we did it before kind of try to reach the ceiling, but make sure that your shoulders are away from your ears. Now lengthen through your left hand, turn your right hand 90 degrees. Now bend it and bring it, I'll show you, behind your back, and then interlace the hands. You can like that and sit and breathe. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears, that your rib cage is not protruding forward. I always have to remind myself that. And uh, you will find different sides feel differently. If you cannot reach it, you can either uh, touch uh, your T-shirt or whatever you're wearing or use the yoga belt. So hold it for a few breaths. And slowly, 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 slowly release. And now we're going to go again, roll your shoulders. And we're gonna go another side. Bring your hands towards your head and then bring them down, breathing out. And again, second time, hands touching fingertips to the sky and then look down or straight, whatever is comfortable. This time, look up, interlock the hands in unfamiliar way, reach to the ceiling. Ears away from the shoulders, engage your abdominals, make sure your back is flat and uh, you are, your ribcage is not protruding. Now lengthen this time through your right hand, left to the side, then bring it behind, I'm showing you, turn the top arm, connect and hold. And breathe, 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 enjoy it. Obviously, if you have any shoulder injury, I would approach it. I would possibly wouldn't recommend you to do it or you need to consult your doctor because this could be very strong on the shoulder. So this is for people who don't have any shoulder issues with any rotator cuffs. But if you don't, this is absolutely amazing stretch. And again, if you're a sound engineer, please don't uh, be shy. Try that as well producer or mixer because that will again massively release your upper back. I feel amazing and I hope that so do you.